Eric Brooks was born in Soho, London in 1929. His father, Lucas Cross, a member of the secret society, the Order of Tarana, sent his pregnant wife Tara to England before he was taken prisoner in Liberia. There, she took the name Vanessa Brooks and found shelter with brothel owner, Madame Vanity, another member of the Order of Tarana. Experiencing labor complications, Tara was forced to seek a doctor's assistance. The doctor, Deacon Frost, was actually a ravenous vampire and feasted on the woman as she gave birth, passing on a series of enzymes that altered her baby. The enzymes entered the infant's bloodstream, transforming him into a being tainted by a vampire's kiss, but not converted. In other words, half man, half vampire. Frost was driven away before he could slay the child, but Tara perished, leaving the orphan Eric Brooks to be raised at Matham Vanity's brothel. While he was growing up on the streets of London, he ran into American veteran vampire slayer Jamal Afari and saved him from being killed by vampires with a grudge against the old man. Afari learned about Eric and his origins and decided to take him under his wing, becoming his mentor and foster father and helped him to control his powers. Afari taught Eric everything he knew about hunting, fighting, and killing vampires. Determined to avenge his mother's death, Eric fashioned himself into a vampire hunter like Afari while still a teenager and started calling himself Blade. Finally, Blade and Afari split up when Jamal willingly took the fall for murder when Blade accidentally killed a man, which he mistook for being a vampire. Because Blade was born a half-human, half-vampire hybrid, the enzymes in Blade's blood made him immune to normal vampire bites, uniquely attuned to sensing the supernatural and resistant to aging. Since being bit by Morbius, Blade has gained many of the traditional powers of the vampire without developing their weaknesses. He has superhuman strength, senses, stamina, plus an accelerated healing factor. Blade's sense of sight and hearing are heightened to levels comparable to those possessed by true vampires. He is capable of seeing objects with perfect clarity at much greater distances than ordinary humans. He retains this same level of clarity even in near total darkness. His hearing is similarly enhanced, allowing him to detect sounds that an ordinary human can't hear and enable him to hear sounds an ordinary human can hear, but at greater distances. Blade is also able to sense the presence of supernatural beings or forces, whereas an ordinary human would be oblivious to them. Blade also possesses the strength of a vampire, allowing him to lift about one ton due to his half-vampire side. Blade has overpowered a vampiric Spider-Man, routinely makes prodigious jumps of hundreds of feet through the air, and has sufficient strength to easily rip the head off another vampire with his bare hands. Blade is capable of running and moving at speeds greater than even the fastest human athlete. He can also accelerate his movements to cover short distances in an instant, faster than the human eye can see. But he is not as fast as a pure vampire. His reflexes are similarly heightened. He moves so fast that everything else when compared to him appears to be moving in slow motion. Blade's agility, balance, and bodily condition are enhanced to levels that are beyond the natural physical limits of the finest human athlete as well. He can leap several hundred feet into the air and is able to move, jump, climb, flip, and run at incredibly fast speeds without difficulty or exhaustion. He can perform above human parkour feats and virtually always lands on his feet. Blade's musculature generates less lactic acid during physical activity than the musculature of an ordinary human. He can exert himself at peak capacity for several hours before fatigue begins to impair him. Blade is a master martial artist proficient in practically every form of weaponry known to man. After training with Jamal Afari and various other private instructors, his main form of combat is a mixture of boxing, capoeira, eskrima, jeet kune do, hapkido, jujutsu, shotokan karate, kung fu, and ninjutsu. Blade is also an expert marksman, an expert swordsman. He's practically proficient in every form of weaponry. His particular specialty is the use of edged weapons, be they teak wood daggers or swords. He's a master in the use of small bladed weapons and can hurl knives with great accuracy. He also shows great skill with firearms, including both automatic and semi-automatic, which he often modifies to fire hollow point garlic filled silver bullets.
Despite all these powers and abilities, Blade does possess one weakness common to all vampires, the need to ingest fresh blood in order to stay alive. However, rather than consume blood, he ingests or injects a specially designed serum that provides even better nourishment than blood would provide. If Blade doesn't drink the serum for an extended period of time, he will weaken and his self-control will be stretched. He would be forced to attack a human and consume his or her blood if this period is more than a week. Blade does have a huge amount of blood serum in his inventory and actually never runs out of energy. One serum is enough for 24 hours of extended combat, or he can use it to quickly recover from grave wounds. Although he has a special meditation to maintain his self-control, an extended period of time without consuming either blood or the serum would be fatal. Thanks for watching the first recorded episode of Unsung Heroes. Tell us about your favorite Blade moments from the movies or the comics by dropping a comment below. If there are any other characters you'd like to see featured in Unsung Heroes, let us know that as well. Take care.